Now using the octet rule, we can really uh, predict some of the charges that elements will uh, always form. So uh, if we remember, the octet rule says that most elements are going to react in a way to achieve eight valence electrons like the, uh, the noble gases in group 18 or 8A. Uh, a subset of that would be the smaller elements like hydrogen, lithium, and beryllium can react in a way to get like uh, helium with two valence electrons. Okay? So what do we mean? Well, sodium, we already said, likes to form a plus one ion. That is because it has one valence electron. It's in group 1A. If it loses that one valence electron, it will have 10 valence electrons, or excuse me, 10 electrons total, and eight valence electrons, just like neon. The eight valence electrons in the N equals two energy level. Same thing for potassium. If it loses one valence electron, it will have the same electron configuration as argon and eight valence electrons. Same thing with rubidium and cesium and even francium. By losing one valence electron, um, they can achieve the octet rule with eight valence electrons just like the noble gases over here. Okay, um, Magnesium calcium, strontium, and the rest of the alkaline earth metals will lose two valence electrons to uh, achieve the octet rule. Magnesium loses two valence electrons. Suddenly it has the same electron configuration as neon, just like sodium did by losing one. So all of the uh, group two um, Alkaline earth metals will lose two valence electrons to get this stable electronic configuration. Lithium will do the same, and beryllium will uh, lithium will do the same as the rest of the alkali metals. But instead of getting to the octet rule with eight valence electrons, it achieves the same electron configuration as helium. <coughs> so all of the group two metals will form a plus two charged ion. All of the group one alkali metals will form a plus one uh, charge, as well as hydrogen. Hydrogen, if it forms an ion, will form a plus one ion. That's why it is in group one, even though it's a non-metal. If it gained an electron, to form a negative one charge, it would make more sense to be over here in group 17 or 7a. But since chemically it forms a plus one ion most of the time, uh, we keep it in group one. On the other side of the periodic table, uh, the nonmetals are going to do something different. Instead of losing uh, valence electrons, the halogens, group 7a, will gain one electron to uh, get to that eight valence electron electronic structure. So fluorine is going to gain one electron to be like neon, chlorine, one valence electron gain to be like argon, bromine, iodine, and even the radioactive acetine would uh, also gain one valence electron. So these elements gain one electron in chemical reactions to satisfy the octet rule. So they overall will form a minus one charge. Oxygen, we previously said, would gain two electrons, and that's because that would put it into the same electron configuration as neon. And so the rest of group six of the nonmetals in group six will form a minus two ion after gaining two electrons to satisfy the octet rule. Now after that it gets a little bit uh, less um, predictable. Uh, nitrogen, if it forms an ion, it's going to form a negative three ion. 
and although a little bit more rare if phosphorus forms an ion it will also form a negative three ion after that um, not many uh, we can't predict the charges of uh, group 4a uh, elements that's for a couple reasons sometimes they can uh, form more than one charge or they're actually going to form uh, covalent uh, bonds like carbon and silicon the only other element on here that we can predictably uh, uh, say what charge it is and that is aluminum since it's in group three it will lose three electrons to same have the same electron configuration as neon and so it will form a plus three ion after losing three electrons. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's summarize this a little bit. So the predictable ions, ions that will always form the same charge, or atoms that will always form the same charge, are group one okay. so sodium potassium hydrogen uh, lithium always form a plus one charge group two magnesium calcium the rest of the alkaline earth metals group two Or 2A, always form a plus 2. And then group uh, aluminum in group 13 or 3A. Will always form a plus 3 charge. The rest of the elements in group 13 or 3A are a little bit less predictable. You can do a couple of different things. So this is pretty easy. Um, group 1 metals form a plus 1. Hydrogen also forms plus one. Group two metals form a plus two. Group three, just aluminum, which is in group 3A, forms a plus three charge. Over on the other side of the periodic table, we can always predict that group 17 or 7A elements, chloride, fluoride, bromide, will always form a minus one charge. The non-metals in group 16 or 6A will always form a minus 2 charge. And then nitrogen and phosphorus in group uh, 15 or 5A will always form a minus 3 charge. <clears throat>